Aloha, your photo coach here. Today we're going to go set up a little product tabletop studio and show you how you can create the same tabletop product studio in any spare area of your home. Just need a table, uh, a wall space, and something white to drape over your table and back wall. We're going to use two flash units to uh, supply the lighting for the product photography, and so let's get to it. Okay, keeping this very real, I've got this uh, setup right here in my home gym, which also, this room doubles as my post-production area for my portrait business. The first thing you need is a table, just a little table like this, set it up against the wall as I've done, or against the window frame, and then... You need some white material to drape over the background and the table, so let's get that going. As you can see, uh, I'm using white, a piece of white seamless paper. You can use any white cloth, a, a sheet, tablecloth, smooth white surface that you can drape. And as you see, I just pinned it right here onto the window frame and draped it over the table. Okay, so now uh, we need to set up our product, whatever we want to shoot, and of course we'll need to set up our lights and a camera. Okay, you can see the setup here. I've got the uh, I've got two flash units set up, one in front of the product and one directly above, aimed down and slightly forward uh, of the product. Both of the flash units I have adjusted to give me an output of an exposure of f5.6 so uh, both of them are giving the same amount of light to the subject uh, or the product and uh, but what's going to happen is normally um, the two lights combined if they were both in front of the product would give me an exposure f8 but because one of the lights is above and aimed down at the product it's not going to have quite that same uh, amount of additive effect so what it actually ended up giving me was f6.3. Uh, so a little more than f5.6, about a third more. So anyway, uh, now I'm going to make a couple of photographs, and then I'm going to move the light, and you can. I'm going to show you the, what's going to the result from each of these photographs. And then uh, now, as it is set up right now, with the one light slightly to the left of the uh, front of the product is going to give me a little bit of a shadow. As you can see, a little bit of a shadow now uh, that because of the ambient light that I have going on. But then I'm going to move the light and I'm going to show you how that works to eliminate the shadow. And here we have a pretty good looking product photograph. And uh, it, this, this lighting setup will work with for any products, any small products that you can put up on here. So I hope this has been very instructional and helpful to you. You can now set up very simply two lights, white background, product, and photograph it. Put your photographs on eBay or any other Craigslist, sales site, whatever. And uh, I hope this has been helpful to you. Please leave your comments below, and I look forward to getting back to you. Thanks. Aloha. Now you can see that I've moved the one light that was off to the left. It still looks like it's a little bit off to the left, but it's actually directly in line with the camera. Uh, and as a result, uh, and I've raised it up and aimed it slightly down. So as a result, the shadow from, the, from that light will fall directly behind the product and be hidden from view. So it'll look like there's no shadow at all. And I'll show you how that works.